Lecture by CYC Chen Cynthia. You can pause anytime you need. 你可以随时按下暂停键。Make sure have your tools ready. Okay, everyone. Today we are going to do a summer activity, flying a kite. So today you are going to design your kite. Okay, so if you have a chance, what kind of kind that you wanna have, or what kind of thing that you wanna fly in the sky? Okay, so we are going to do the first one together. Then you can do the other one by yourself. Okay, so let's divide our paper in half. So we have one, two, left and right. Okay. So the first one I want to make is big on the left. So this one is very simple. It is like a diamond shape. So I want to have a diagonal light. A diagonal light. See, it's almost touch the middle line. Is almost touch the edge of the paper, so which means this line is not too short. Okay, so make sure it's big enough. We don't want to have a teeny tiny small kite flying in the sky. You are not going to see it if the kite is too small. So try to make the kite a little bit bigger. Perfect. So now, not the middle. A little bit higher, right here. I want you to do another diagonal line, so it will make the line looks like a cross. So which means when you place, let me find something. Hmm. Oops. When you place a book, see, it looks like the same angle, right? Place a book. See, it looks like the right angle. If you have the cross looks like this, I can fit, right? I can fit at this corner, even here. So don't do something looks like this. You have to make sure all the four corner can place with the book. All right. Don't do something like this. We don't want to see something look like X. We want something looks like a cross. Okay, it looks like a cross. So you can use a book to help you to find the angle. See the corner. I can fit on the kite. I can fit on the kite. All right. Then when you check, all the angle is perfect. Now I want to do four. Wave fly to close the diamond. Okay, we are not going to do the straight line. We don't do that. This. No,、nope, we are not doing this. We are doing a wave fly. Looks like a slightly wave. So don't do the straight line because when the kite is flying in the sky, which means there is the wind blowing, so the kite is not going to be. Straight, it will be a little bit wave, a little bit wave. See, when I place the pencil right there, I got the stomach right here. So you are going to have a small wave, not a big curve. A small wave. Okay, so I got the diamond shape. All right, so we need to have a rope. To tight on the kite, so the kite is not going to fly away, right? So I'm going to add it a V shape from this point, going down, stop over the kite. From this point to join the roads right here, and I'm going to have a straight line under. It looks like the later white right there, isn't it? 
Okay. Now it's the time for me to decorate my kite. Then it's also the time for you to decorate your kite. Okay. You can have the ribbons floating at the bottom of the kite. You can have as much as you want. I can also have the ribbon on the side as well. Same thing as much as you want. You also can have the graphics on top of the kite. It's your choice. I'm okay with any. Okay, you can have the rainbow on top. You can have the superhero graphics. You can have the princess, fairy, or anything. All right. So remember, we are making two kites. It's time for you to start to do your second kite. Okay. So I have one kite. It looks like the octopus. It looks like circle, and I got the two eye bow on top, and it's red. The leg is colorful. It's the rainbow color. So that is my kite. And how about yours? So I want to think about one kind of kite. Right over here. Okay. So now you can begin to do your second kite. Remember, don't be rushed. Take your time. Let's see any detail you forget to add it, and don't forget every small part that you might need it. Don't forget, good art always takes time. Don't worry if you need more time to complete your awesome work. All right. So when you finish the kite, the kite is flying in the air in the sky. So what will you have in the sky? So you can add your own background to present. Where is the kite? The kite is on the ground or somewhere else. You can have some birds. Clouds, or something that you think it looks good around the kite. Okay, so don't limit yourself, and you don't have to 
copy, you can create your own background. Okay? Remember, don't be rushed, take your time. Let's see any detail you forget to add it, and don't forget every small part that you might need it. Don't forget, good art always takes time. No worry if you need more time to complete your awesome work. Alright, so when you finish the kite and the background, we have to outline our joint. So, I want you to look around. Do you have the markers looks like this? Okay, that is the fine markers. Okay, so keep that on the here and look around do you have the marker looks like this like the needle is the thin markers if you don't have the needle markers it's okay you can find your black pencil crayon to help all right so if you have the thin markers use the thin markers if you don't have use the pencil crayon these two are the same all right so i want you to grab your fine markers the thick marker first i want you to trace the kite but only the kite not the decorations so we only trace the outline of the kite okay the outline of the kite not the ribbon part the body part I have the long tail okay then I have to close and make sure I close this properly okay so it won't dry up then use your thin markers if you don't have the thin markers pencil crayon is work so where I use the thin markers? Everywhere. 
Okay, so the ribbons, background, the strings, the pattern, you are going to trace with the thin markers. All right, now it's your turn to start to trace your joint. With the tracing, I want you to check: Are you using different line weights to trace your joint? Do you use the fine markers to trace the outline of the kites only, and rest of them using the thin markers? Okay. So for the next part, we were going to have our three minutes water break. So you can use this three minutes to complete your work. Or if you want to drink some water or go to the washroom, feel free to go. You don't have to let me know. Then after three minutes water break, we are coming back to do the coloring together. So don't forget to come back. So before the water break, you have to clean up all the pencil line. Okay. So after we finish tracing, we don't need to have the pencil line anymore. So which means we are going to clear all the pencil line to keep our joint clean and neat. All right. So take your time to clean out the pencil line. Then enjoy your three minutes water break.
welcome back, everyone. So this is the second section of the class. We are going to do the coloring together. So you need to have your paper and finish tracing. And there is no extra pencil line on your paper. All right. Then we need to have our pencil crayons as much as you need. Okay. Doesn't matter. It only has the 12 color, 24 colors. Or 100 colors, all right? Just grab that whatever you need. Okay, so we do the coloring. Can we do the scribbling like this? No, see, the color looks rough, right? I have too much white space. I need to feel the color very gentle, very neat. I'm not going to color outside the shape. I'm not going to leave in the white space inside the box. I have to keep the color look solid and clean. Okay, and that is easy. Today I'm going to teach you another way to color. It's called color volume. So we use one single color. Wait me the second, let me grab the color. We use one single color to break down the color become darker, middle colors, and the brightest color. So how can we do that? So we are going to color a corner super, super hard. So it will look super dark. Then I reduce the pressures on my pencils a little bit brighter. See, I got my middle colors. Right? I got the dark color and the middle color and I have a few space left. Then I reduce even more pressures on my pencil to make my color look even brighter. So I got dark, medium, light. So that is the color volume. That's it. So that is the flat colors. We both use the single colors, but this one has no color volume. It only shows one single color. And this one, even I only use one pencil crayon, but I create the color volume. It shows dark colors, middle colors, and the light colors. Okay, so I wish all of you can try to use the color volume to color the rest of the drawing you have. Okay, now it's your turn to color your joints. All right, take your time. Good art always takes time. You can use any colors you want. You don't have to copy my coloring. Okay, and begin now.
So when you complete your drawing, you have to double check. Where do you miss the color? Because sometimes the thing is very, very little and tiny. Sometimes we will forget. For example, right here, I forgot to color this tiny thing, right? Those are very not that important, but they are part of the drawing. So I have to be fair, right? All the small thing is important for short. So they deserve to have their own colors. All right. So double check your work. Do you miss anything? Forget to color. See if you have two more to color. Then you're done with the coloring and you check every single part. You are not miss anything. You can find a place to sign the name like the artist. You must sign the name. When you sign the name, people know you check your work and this work is complete. All right, so sign the name and write down the date. So after 10 years, you still remember when you done this work. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed the class today and hope I can see you soon. When you complete your drawing, sign the name and write down the date. 完成画作之后，签下你的名字，跟写上日期。Don't forget to take a photo of your drawing and send it to us. 不要忘记帮你的作品拍上照片，寄给我们哦。And don't forget to clean out the table before you go. 不要忘记清洁你的桌子哦。Bye bye. See you next time.